Guys, if you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K20 MT, go to Safe NBA MT for fast delivery and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. If you need to go 12 or no, complete spotlight challenges or spotlight sim challenges, domination, evolve cards, and more things like that, go ahead and contact Rose NBA on Twitter right now. Link for that is in the description. Yo, what's going on guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K20. In this video, I'm just going to be opening up some more packs. There's no real reason for it besides the fact that I have nearly 200k BC saved from when I did my original pack opening because we pulled Hito early. So I thought I'm just going to come back and open packs now, see if Lightning will strike in the same place twice. We can pull another Hito. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel if you were new with that notification bell turned on. We're not going to be able to open up a ton of packs, but hopefully we just get lucky with the packs we do open. I'm going to go with a 20 box because I found luck in the 20 boxes in my, in my original pack opening. So yeah, hopefully we get an Opal pull. Hopefully, I might even try and make some MT. That's pretty much the whole reason for this is spend the VC so I can make MT because I haven't got much MT at the moment. I got like two, 2,000 MT, which is just not going to cut it. We are pulling some silver players early, which is nice to see. But you know, we open these packs for one card tier and one card tier only, and that is for Galaxy Opals. We get a freaking Amethyst in this one, not an Amethyst, it's an Emerald. Show me that. Alright, first half of this box was not very great. That's a sapphire. Hopefully this next half heats up. We get a freaking Christmas ball. Why are they still in these packs? Why are they still in any packs? I have no idea. We do get an amethyst. I can't even remember the amethyst from here. A timberwolf. I think it's just gonna be Carl Anthony Towns. Now it's a point guard. I'm confused right now. Ricky Rubio. I don't even think I pulled him in my original pack opening. I pulled Dang, and I pulled Hedo. That was it. That, that was all we pulled. So far, these packs have been dry. But I think I'm going to have to show you guys a couple of MT methods, what I've been using to, to make some MT, because it's about time that we did do some of my methods to make some MT back, because I haven't got much at all. The last real one, the last real MT method I made, you guys showed a lot of love on it. It's got nearly like 80,000 views, I think, which is huge. So I really should come back and make more because a lot of people agree with my ideas. It helped a lot of people out. So I may as well try and do that again for you guys. Show you guys some new methods I've been using. Let's go. That's a pink diamond right there. Before we flip that, guys, drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, this is huge. But in my last um, MT making method video, it's going to be another dang. I told you guys, I, I opened up my token packs. Now, a lot of people were like, oh, how am I going to make MT? You know, you opened all those packs, that's how you made MT. That wasn't the bait. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people don't listen when they, when they watch YouTube videos. So, I'm going to try to explain a couple of tips a bit easier for some people. I actually have a dang that I can actually sell. That is already in my collection set. Any good playbooks? I think we're just going to sell all that. Um, but yeah, we'll open up some more, a couple more singles because we still have 40k to go in the uh, in the VC. And I'll sort of try and explain things a little bit simpler for some people that don't really like to listen, I guess. But we have pulled some decent silver players because when I explain like how to make MT, I'm not saying open packs, but you can get a lot of silver players. The main thing this weekend is definitely grinding a triple threat to try and get the team out cards. That's obviously the main one. You guys should already know that. Let's go! Yo, two pink diamonds. Yo, can we get the Joker, man? Or Power to Soul? Yeah, that's my third dang. I pulled three pink diamonds out of these packs. And seriously, we've only pulled dang. But um, yeah, with the MT method, you can get a lot of packs from playing triple threat. I'm not saying open packs, but at the same time, I know some people do open packs. So if you do open packs and still want to make MT, that this the methods that I give are also for those people. So yeah, if you don't open packs, so there's still definitely the main thing at the moment is trying to get is to, is trying to get those T Mac cards. Pink Diamond T Mac still sells for over 100k, 
I don't know how many, I don't know how rare they are. I have grinded it on the no money spend account, which will be a video coming like tomorrow or something like that. But yeah, we will, we will jump into some tips shortly. We get dual freaking sapphires right there, which is just quick sell material. Uh, but we got two more packs to open. Can we clutch one more pink diamond? Or maybe an opal if we're super lucky. Come on, nope, not in this pack. Maybe the last one we're gonna clutch something big. I can feel it. I'd love another Hedo. I, I, because I did pull Hedo in my original pack opening, I was gonna sell him, but I can't, man. He's so good. If you haven't used that Hedo, man, trust me when I say he's good. Final pack. That's all right there. We did get two pink diamond pulls, which I'm pretty stoked about. And when I show you guys my tips, I'm not saying you are gonna make to the exact MT I'm gonna make. These are just, I may give you guys five tips. You may take away one or two. It, that's, that's pretty much all I'm sort of trying to say is like, not all tips may apply to you, but the first thing that I do want to say is know what has value. Obviously, my pink diamond, the, the dangs, they are going to have some value, those cards. So we're going to search them up, see how much we can get. I've got three to sell. So, and I think he's actually a solid card. I just don't need him on my gold squad. So we can sell these three dangs for 18k each, which is super cheap for a pink diamond when you think about it. But I mean, this time of the year, it's kind of expected, and he is sort of the the lower. He was the worst pink diamond out of the three you could pull, because obviously, Pagasol, which is an Evo to Galaxy Opal, is going to sell for much more than his Dang card. And the Nikola Jokic, he can play freaking point guard, even though he's a center. So obviously, 2K use position locks for a money grab. So. They're obviously going to sell for more, but we can make around 50k to 60k roughly with those cards right there. I will sell these cards. Got a diamond contract. It is huge. A, definitely a great way to make MT is if you haven't already gotten the Kobe challenges done, which I haven't on my main account. I have on the no money spent account. But if you complete these challenges right here, you get a diamond contract pack. That'll sell. Um, you get a good MT diamond shoe pack and more MT, those are definitely worth um, getting it done. You'll be able to make some decent MT from that. Um, already sold two of our dangs. Stacks or contracts can sell for a lot, but you sell them at the right time. Because we just had con content come out, these are gonna lose a lot of value. But if you do it on like a Wednesday or a Thursday, they will sell for a lot more, a lot more. Trust me on that. They even though, even now they do sell for a good amount of MT, but um, they sell for a lot more when we haven't had content because people aren't ripping packs. Um, we'll see what we can sell them for now. But I've sold stacks of bronze contracts for for around 10k, 10k MT, which is massive. But you see right now they're selling for. You know, probably sell a stack of silvers for 6k, but I don't want to sell them because I know I can get a lot more. Same thing with diamond contracts. We'll search up how much diamond contracts sell for. Where am I right now? Um, but these these lose a lot of value as well when we get new content and people are just ripping hella packs. So they're going to lose value, which makes sense. Diamond contracts sort of have lost a lot of value just overall. They used to sell for around 15K, but now they're sort of below 12 roughly. You see they're around 10K, which is pretty cheap for, for a diamond contract. If you're, if, you're in, if you're into getting diamond contracts for your players, they're pretty cheap right now. So it looks like 11K is going to be the cheapest. No, a little bit over. I think I will sell my diamond contract now because the, their value hasn't really been, they've really only been going down. They haven't even been going up, but with these stacks of contracts, oh my God, how much is these selling for? This is just getting annoying now. All right, I'm gonna put mine up for 11 and a half, but the stacks of contracts, wait till like, an, like a Wednesday or a Thursday or just a couple days after we've had content. So yeah, they're just, there's not so many on the auction house. More ways to make MT. I'll just, I've said this idea before, but these injury cards, if you get stacks at 20, send the entire stack to your auction and just quick sell. That's what I do. Um, these jerseys right here, I really should sell these and I think I will. It'll just take too long right now because they, not all of them, but a lot do have some decent MT. So these are definitely worth selling. Um, of course, silver cards, you already know, have value. Um, if it's not a silver card, I'll just go through and just quick sell everything. Like, 
Haven't got that many at the moment. We've got a few Series 2 cards because of the packs that we've opened over this over this weekend. So I'll go through and quick sell everything that isn't. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. I don't believe I asked, but anyway. Um, anything that isn't a silver, I will just quick sell and then send the silvers to the auction and you can make hella MT from that. And of course, another method is quick selling shoes. We all know quick selling shoes has always been a decent way to make MT. And it's just a personal preference, but because I do not care about the Galaxy Opals or the Pink Diamonds in here, like they're not that great this year, I use my tokens to open packs. You can, these lights out have good odds. I open these up um, and I open up Frostbites because you could pull a good card like that. Or you could just pull silvers and stuff, just turning tokens into MT because I just, me personally, I don't think the actual players, these cards right here, are even worth picking up in my opinion. On my no money spend account, I am grinding these. But on my main account where I open packs, tokens, really don't have much value to me. So I'd rather turn tokens into MT. So after quick selling a lot of things, I haven't even quick sold my shoes or my jerseys yet. Um, I've made, I got 43K and I got all these silvers that I'm now gonna put on the auction. We've sold those pink diamond dangs, but I'm gonna sell all this stuff. We'll come back when everything's sold and see how much MT we've made as well on top of this pack opening video. All right guys, so it's the next day right now and everything has sold. We're gonna go through now and redeem everything that we sold from the auction house and see how much MT we made. We sold these pink diamond dangs for 18K each. Diamond contract, that Nicholas Batum card, they sold for five grand each as well, which is pretty solid, and a bunch of silvers. All right guys, so I have redeemed everything. I have quick sold all of my shoes, all of my jerseys, sold everything that I don't use. And before I redeem this stuff right here, I just wanna to prove to you that you can sell stacks of contracts they do sell for more, but this is pretty much minimum what you can get. A stack of silver contracts sold for six and a half and a stack of bronze selling for 6K, which is huge. And we now have quarter of a million MT. I literally went from zero MT to 200, quarter of a million MT in about an hour of, of doing this. Obviously it took four hours for everything to sell from the auction house, but um, besides that waiting time, it really, it's only about an hour to get a quarter of a million MT. But that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. I wanted to open up some packs for you guys to see if we could get lucky. We did pull two pink diamonds, which is pretty dope. And I gave you guys some MT tips as well on how you can make some. If you're, if you're not grinding for collector levels, which personally I'm not, with the amount of OP cards in the game, like Opal Christas Bazingas, Taco 4, Bol Bol, Shaq, like, I, I don't personally find a, a reason to grind for Anthony Davis and stuff like that. So that's why I just sell everything that I don't use. And if you want to make MT, that's just a good method to do it. Selling shoes, selling jerseys, selling cards you don't use, stacks of contracts, stacks of injury cards and things like that. You can seriously make a lot of MT. Now you obviously can't just repetitively keep on doing this. Um, because once you sell everything, you've got to get more things. But grinding triple threat, you can get packs, MT tokens to open packs in the token market and things like that. But I'll give you one more tip before we finish up this video. And the final tip is to flip Evo cards. Now you see this Pagasol right here is selling for just over 100K MT for the pink diamond. His requirements are actually really easy. They're seriously not that hard to complete at all. And once you get him to Galaxy Opal, he sells for like 100K extra. So that is huge if you want to buy the pink diamond, complete the Evo requirements, and then sell him as an Opal. You can make about 100K MT on that. That's something that I've done before. I've done it with Ben Simmons and made a couple hundred K. Obviously, you know, some grinds can take longer than others, but I can't, I think we can see his, we can't see his requirements, but um, it's only about a thousand points, you know, really simple stuff. So that's another method is buy the pink diamond, Evo him to Opal and resell him and make over 100k MT on top of that. But that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like right now. Subscribe to the channel if you are new with that notification bell turned on. And I'll catch you all in the next upload. It's been witnessed.